Hello and welcome to Northwest Conversations. I'm Chris Anderson and joining me is Mayor Kelly Linville of Bellingham. The great city of Bellingham, the city of subdued excitement. Subdued excitement. That's okay, what they let's start off with a why do you think they call it that? <laughs> well, it was a sleepy little town for quite a while, not a lot of population. Um, in a beautiful location and people would come here and say this is a great place to live and retire and relax. Now, having said that, Western Washington University has um, allowed many, many younger people to experience our community and want to move here. So subdued excitement does not necessarily describe the city that I grew up in anymore. How, it, it, other than just more people, what ways have you seen Bellingham grow? Well, I think the university's had a big effect because once people go to, the, to Western or any of the other um, colleges, community colleges, technical colleges, Indian colleges we have in our community, and they love it here because of the recreation, that's one of the big draws. So we do mountain biking, we do skiing, we do running, we do canoeing, we do boating, we do just guess what it could be. And we do all those things and people actually look at our parks guide as they're driving through town sometimes and say, I think I want to live here. What, what are some of the challenges you see as, as being mayor of, of this city? What, what are some of the biggest challenges? Well, we're an unusual size. So we are the oasis, population oasis in a rural county in, on the west side of the state. And there's not a lot of us around. And so while we're big enough to have some resources and we're small enough to work together to solve our problems, we don't even have a legislator that lives in Bellingham. Um, I, was, I was the last one. And so when it comes to attracting funding, when it comes to looking at how things affect urban centers and rural areas, um, sometimes we don't have as big a voice as I think we could have. And I know that from serving in the legislature for almost 20 years. What would you say, what are some of the fun things that are going on this summer? We're in the middle of the summer now. What, what are some of the things going on to Bellingham? Why should people come on up here from Seattle and, and maybe spend a day? Well, one of the things that we have is, I think we have almost the highest per capita number of breweries in the state. We get a new brewery open about once a month. And it's, um, it's become a real social, cultural thing to do in Bellingham. We're in Sunset Magazine. We have Beer Week. Our breweries cooperate with each other and try to expand um, the interest in visiting Bellingham to see what they can taste and try. And we also have started combining recreational events like bike races and walks and runs with, um, <laughs> with beer tasting. Usually works out okay. Um, we have the Sea to Ski Race, that's in, in May, but that brings people from all over the world to participate in what started as a little local race. Um, we have cultural events, we have two mu museums, we have a historical theater, um, and we love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of things to do for pets up here. Yeah, there's a, it's a very pet friendly city, and uh, there's a lot of pet owners. We have now several bars, uh, not bars, uh, breweries that are dedicated towards animals. Bringing your dog, one's called called Pause a While, down by the ferry <laughs> terminal. Um, we get a lot of travelers that come through because of the ferry too. A lot of what when it comes to border traffic. Uh, you've got, uh, you're what, what, is it 15, 10 miles away from the Canadian border? Yeah. Am I wrong? Uh, do you get a lot of people that are on their way to and from Vancouver or wherever in British Columbia that stop in? You know, we used to get more. Obviously, the Canadian dollar has affected the number of shoppers and travelers we have. Um, we have an international airport now, and we had very high rates of Canadian travelers that went through our airport, and that's um, taken a steep decline because of the of the dollar. So we have lots of travelers still, but um, as compared to what we had when the dollar, the Canadian dollar was stronger, um, we've seen a decrease. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking time to talk to me, Mayor Linville of Bellingham. And uh, you can learn more about Bellingham by checking out our website at www.kbtc.org. We will have a link with this uh, to the city and some information and some ways you can come up here and spend the day.